What's, What's up, up y'all? Welcome, Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, the Thirsty Twins, Twins, and we're, we're back, back with a new video. And this time, we dishing that new thrifted fonts for you, but this one has a little twist. We try to switch up the videos a little bit. In this video, we are actually doing a challenge. We came up with this idea to really challenge ourselves to thrift an entire outfit uh, under $20 at the thrift store, just to show how you can kind of get a whole outfit together mm -hmm. at a low rate and still look very fashionable, very pulled together, maybe using thrifted items mostly, and maybe a few things from your closet. So we actually decided to challenge each other. Budget is $20, no more, no less, including taxes and fees and data rates. The rules are one article of clothing from your closet, shoes and accessories can also be from your closet. Everything else, gotta, gotta be, be thrifted. thrifted. So let's go. So this challenge is extremely fun for me because I love a challenge, honey. <laughs> so uh, challenge me, and I swear to God I, I'm so cheap, challenge me to something on a budget and I'm gonna find a way to make it work, period. Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? So I'm here at the Salvation Army ready to shop and thrift for this $20 challenge. Let's see how I do. Catch you inside. Here, guys, and I'm gonna start in the sh blouses or shirts because that's usually the base of every outfit. Maybe I should go with pants. I'm gonna start with tops because I just found this one. Just... I like the top of it, but it has like some stains. But I like the top, the shape, the color, the buttons. Pretty cool. I'm over here at the sketchbooks. And Kira has been looking for like a brown leather blazer jacket. Hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully, I'm not too muffled. Okay, 
Okay, over here by the skirts now. I like this pleated. It has really small pleats. That's nice. Ooh, Tommy Hill figure. And it's a size 14. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This is nice. I actually love, I love the button detail. Cotton's going all the way down. Cute. This is a brown sort of knit. That's cute. Liz Claiborne. Come on, Liz. Oh, this is nice. I wanted to challenge myself, so let's just go ahead and rip the band-aid off so I can show you guys exactly what I picked up. This is the first piece I want to show you guys. And this is what I mean by challenge myself because I know we all have seen this. Let me see if I can step back and show you guys. We've all seen this type of, I don't know what to call it, but it's a, <laughs> sort of like a two for one because it's a long dress. Please first of all, let's just get into this, this fabric. What is this? I don't know. It says 45% uh, acetate and 55% polyester. Dry <laughs> clean only, because I, I swear. But uh, look at that liquid. I like to say like a liquid metal. Mm -hmm. It's metallic, okay? Metallic, okay? Liquid, silver, metal, platinum, gray. I don't know everything. It's, the they fabric call it is metal. amazing. When I seen it, I was just like, I want to do something with that. Something with it. And like I said, if you step, if I step back, you can see that it's, it's a pleated dress. It has this sheer bodice for the top, and then it pleats out with the same fabric. And even that is lined. So it's sort of thicker than you would imagine. So it really gave me wintertime fall vibes. And then this sort of comes, hangs over, it sort of looks like you got on two pieces, but you don't. And it's connected at the sleeve and shoulder. And it's big for me. This is like a size 20. Actually, let me see, let me show y'all this. Can y'all see what this says? Big size. What size is it? It's a big size. <laughs> big size. <laughs> like, it's so amazing to me when I first said it, I was like, Okay, big size. Big size. Made in the USA, too. <laughs> Why would USA put big size on it? Ah, that don't really seem like the USA political thing to me. <laughs> right. I was definitely going to go with China, because Chinese people, they be like, you big, you big, you big. You big, you <laughs> big. It's big, big size. size. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it says, big size. I don't know who made this crap, but it says Coco Collection, K-O-C-O -O Collection. I mean, this is it. And I really want to challenge myself with this because I love the pleat. I'm into pleats now. I love the liquid metal. I'm in the metallics. I'm just like, let me go with this. And then on top of that, the second piece I got, which mm -hmm. is like, whew. What's the second piece? <laughs> the second piece I got in the video, you see me come across it, but you don't really know if I got it or not. But oh, this is it, you trying to kill me. Like, seriously. Game over. Game over. A 100% vintage leather 
moto jacket. I mean, this thing is about 10 pounds. That's how you know it's a real cow on the, on the you know. This is a, it's a whole cow on this hanger. For real. But it's heavy, it's weighted. It has this shrunken motorcycle. It's distressed in all the right places. It's lovely. I, I mean, it's so distressed you can't really, you can't even see the tag, it's all worn out. A whole 100% leather vintage jacket. Amazing. For $13. Okay, you won. <laughs> I like that shrunken. I had it for a while. Probably got passed down from my mother or aunt. Nice. Or oh, uncle, shoot. Mm -hmm. Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy, thank you. And I just think the two pieces together. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ch channel this Janice Joplin on the back of a motorcycle, but I'm fashion. Because look at that just together. On the back of the motorcycle, but I'm fashion. We're going to show them the picture. Of course, you got to see how I style this. Look, come on. Amazing. I think it looks amazing. Big hair. The Don't sort care. of uh, retro sunglasses, silver sunglasses. I, I didn't know which sunglasses I like. I probably showed both in this video, but uh, I showed it with a, like a matte black sunglasses just to give it a cooler vibe. And then just to amp up the fashion, I did the silver reflective frame sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a look. It definitely was a look I had on my Sam Edelman boots. They are croc print, they are knee boots, and they have a silver steel toe to bring yeah. out, I guess, the, of course, to bring out the silver and the Hardware. grommets and the hardware in this jacket with those boots, with the metallic. I'm like, everything. I'm talking about a fashion thrift challenge. Bring it on, girls. Like, what do you got? What do you have? I got a whole this is okay. leather jacket. And I was under budget. That's crazy. And I was under budget. No, that's crazy. Can she compete with that? I don't know, y'all. Come on, a whole leather jacket is vintage. It, I mean, everybody, this is real leather. I don't even think I have a real leather jacket. I don't. I have all nope. faux leather, Zara little leather jackets, faux leather. But this is my first real leather jacket. I don't know if it's your first. Jacket. It's not my first leather jacket. I was about to say, is, leather jackets, you didn't have a leather jacket. Right, this is my only one right now. And it was $13. And I could smell a leather, you know? Disgusting. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this is nice. And it's, I mean, I think I kill, pretty much killed the thrift challenge. Okay. 20, under $20 dress, leather jacket. What you got? I think she might've killed the thrift challenge, but I'm still gonna show y'all my look, okay? Uh -huh. All right, so let's get into my thrifting experience now. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, today is my day to go thrifting for the thrift challenge of $20. Whole outfit. Um, the rules are though that you can use accessories and shoes from your own closet and one garment, so one pant, one shirt, whatever, from your closet. So that's a challenge, and I'm on my way to Salvation Army, and it's really close to a value village, so I may stop there as well. See you guys there. Cause so okay, this is your process. This is my process. I'm thinking like, okay, go for a two piece. It's on trend. And usually you could catch those under $20. So that was where I looked first. I didn't really have a great experience with the two pieces. Matter of fact, I found two pieces, but ended up putting them back, as you can see in my video. It was like this textured fabric that gave me like a faux leather. And I liked it, but the jacket just was not the fit that I was looking for. So I circled back to my favorite aisle, which is jackets. <laughs> And this is where I started to have some luck, right? And you can see as I'm going through the aisles, I'm like, oh, okay, prints, colors, patterns, textures, everything that I was loving. I said, okay, I'm gonna go with a jacket.
Now, after I found the jacket that I was looking for, I wanted to get another piece because I know I can only use one item for my closet. So I need to find a skirt, really wanted to find a skirt or a nice pair of pants. So it was on to finding the bottom look. And I thought to myself, like, try to think of a look and not just thrift random clothes. So I'm like, okay, I would really like a uh, uh, more oversized jeans. So I went to the men's section. Thrifting challenge, I'm here for it. Okay. Okay, so now that y'all seen my thrifting footage, I'm gonna show you the pieces. And the pieces that I thrifted were these two pieces. This is a, whoo, look at that color. It's gorgeous. I don't even know what, what color is like it's like. Paprika? Oh yeah, we can call it paprika. It's a little more bird. Cinnamon? Mm. It's gorgeous. It's yeah. just it's was so, so fall. It was so fall. I love the buttons. I love the lapel. I love the newness of the jacket. Because a lot of the blazers, they be in a thrift store and they look a little old. They look a little drunk. And she was brand new, dry clean. Like I said, this was probably my first find. I was moving off of this jacket after that. And then I found the pants. Now these are men's pants. A low rise fit, like a slung down fit, but you can rise them high. It's a neutral. These were definitely a carpenter style jean and I fell in love with them. They have a great yellow stitching that I thought was a nice touch to them. And they had a little patch work on the pocket. Kind of remind you of the guest song. It did, song. it did. Or the um, Timberland song. That too. So this is how I started the outfit actually. I went ahead and took that blazer and I put it together with this gray faux leather top that tied at the neck. Gorgeous. I got this from Zara. And I decided to rock it with these gold platform shoes that have like a tie detail. And I tied them up around the bagginess of the bottom of the jean. I've been wanting to do this look me for too. a while. Me too, me too. So I'm like, okay, if I find the right jeans that's got that baggy fit, because I don't have no jeans like that right now. And now that we get out of skinny jeans and more into a baggy or fuller leg, mm -hmm. and I'm finding them and I'm searching for them, I'm like, okay, this would be a perfect time to do this style. This is a great meet up with friends look. I mean, you could wear this It'll to a work. business. Because those jeans come off as pants. They do come That's why I did pants. love the tone of the pant because they are jeans, they feel like a denim, but that color just makes them look like a nice pant. So that's why I came up with y'all. I think the know. color choices that you chose made it modern, so it didn't look too thrifted. Exactly, I agree with that. I think the color of the tones made it look really modern. Look like I could have got it right out of the store. That's what I was really going for, y'all. I wanted to look like I didn't thrift the outfit, but majority of the outfit was thrifted, which was what I think I know. And that's fine because I wanted to go with a vintage feel. I wanted okay. to go with a thrifted vintage feel. So I guess that's why I got what I got and you got right. what you got. Cause I wanted to go for that vintage. If I find it in a, in a thrifting store, I'm picking it up because it looked like I thrifted vintage, just right, love the jacket. Like you like vintage. And yeah, right. I wanted to give that whole look to that girl who loves the vintage. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really thinking modern. I was thinking like great pieces at the thrift store, great prices. I want to showcase how you might find this liquid metallic uh, fabric and you might not know what to do with it, but try to make it a little bit more Cooler. punk rock, mm -hmm. more, yeah, think cool with it. It's crazy that the door process was so different. You wanted modern, I wanted a vintage look. And but this we is both what we came stayed up under with. $20. We both stayed under $20. And you guys are going to tell us who you think won this challenge. So put it down below. If you like look one, that's Keita's look. And I like this. And I just like to add the fact that I didn't have to introduce another piece. Like my main outfit was all thrifted, like okay. the leather jacket, the dress, all thrifted. Only thing I really had to add was the accessories for my closet. Well, I would like to add, looking at my look, that I went for pieces that you can recreate in other ways and you're not just stuck with a metallic dress. Okay? This, these separates you can do many ways and that's what I loved about the thrift, thrift challenge. That's what I love about thrifting and what I loved about the thrift challenge because it really gives you styling, make your creativity and styling just go wild. I mean, the yeah. thrift store can give you any look. And because they can give you so much look, it was a challenge. Right. You had to really 
tie down to what you really wanted to and to give where off. and another point is you really had to focus on where you wanted to start we both won because we got some amazing pieces we did and you tell us in the comments if you like look one or if you like look two i say you just put look two and or if you good. like both just put just drop the twin emoji yeah just drop the twin emoji like both of y'all killed and it. you can't decide okay but you know it's gonna be me <laughs> thank you for tuning in I know you hit that like button. I know you already subscribed, but if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Yes. Hit the bell notification so you get all our uploads. We try to upload at least once a week. Give y'all the style and thrifted fashion. Yes. Next and the next time, one. Peace. Peace.